A photographer who was putting together a collage of portraits highlighting the names of Asians and Pacific Islanders. News specialist Tamara Vaifanua is here to show us the finished project. Tamara, I'm excited to see this because what you showed us earlier mm -hmm. was incredible. Yeah, we're seeing another beautiful exhibit by Janessa Alada. She recently unveiled it at Zions Bank in Salt Lake, and Alada says each portrait bears a name that holds a deep meaning and significance. I had an experience where someone had mispronounced my name, and it was just something my friend and I had vented about. That conversation stuck with Janessa Alada, a Filipina American who grew up in Utah. It led to her latest photo exhibit titled Call Me By My Name, featuring Asians and Pacific Islanders. A lot of great things that I learned was who they were named by and what those names meant to them and their family. One really common thing that Asian Americans experience is kind of the erasure of our names. Kelly Asao is Japanese American. Her grandparents were forced to live in internment camps. They specifically chose not to give my parents Japanese names, and they specifically chose not to teach them Japanese. Asao proudly carries her family name generations later. She says it's important to her that people take the time to get it right. We have rich cultural histories. They're all different. And we deserve the respect of people just trying, like making the effort to, to know our names and pronounce it correctly. Now, dozens of people are featured in this project. We'll go ahead and put a link up on ksltv.com so you can check it out. For KSL News, I'm Tamara Vaifanua. All right. Tamara, thank you. Great mm -hmm. to see those images. And what a great effort behind that Absolutely. project as well.